Okay everybody, this is uh, Itsu again. Um, before I wanted to uh, create my uh, toroid with this toroid here, I just uh, decided with the new uh, information I got today uh, to do some testing with my old toroid. I have rewound it so that the both primaries, the brown and the blue one, are uh, the same way clockwise. And the uh, red secondaries are one is clockwise, the other is counterclockwise, but I'm using only one now at the moment. So I hooked up uh, directly from my TL494 uh, to the two MOSFETs separately on each uh, heat sink. And uh, I have uh, on one output of the secondaries I have this uh, 60 watts 220 volt bulb and also I have the yellow probe across it to measure what kind of uh, signal there's coming from. Um, so I have a uh, fairly good uh, indication if uh, the MOSFETs can be driven ok with this uh, TL494 only or that I need some, uh, some clipping uh, uh, or driving uh, circuit up front. I am uh, driving with uh, 12 volts uh, and I will show you the amperage when it's running it's about 8 amp. So I have a considerate uh, amount of input, but I don't know the waveform could be pulsing, so I'm not sure. I will make a uh, snapshot of uh, the signals I've got. I have one probe on one of the gates. This is the red, red probe, which is on uh, one of the outputs of the TL494, the other is uh, exactly the same and I have the yellow probe across uh, the bulb and across the secondary. So we can uh, check both uh, signals. I will have to make a uh, quick run and then a stop and then I can examine the, uh, the result on the uh, on the scope. Ok there we go. Well that was uh, normally the signal I've got. Uh, the only problem now is that I have to make uh, a stop on the uh, scope and I need a third hand for that. So let me first connect the signal. Ok now it's running and I'll make a stop on the scope. And here you can see the input power, 12.3 volt, almost 8 amps. And what else I want to show you is the bulb is slightly glowing. So from the 80 watts input there is not much left, but uh, that's, uh, that's ok for now. The MOSFETs getting uh, slightly warm. Both. But this is the resulting trace. So the red probe is uh, across uh, the TL494 output. And you can see I have again 14.4 uh, volts, but that's because of the peak on top of it. And the frequency is still 4.6. And I have this signal on the output 224 volts peak to peak uh, duty cycle is almost 90% but that's on channel 2 so um, uh, let me expand the, uh, the horizontal display and you can see that there's a slight peak on top of uh, there we are now at uh, 2 microseconds per division. So I have a small peak on the gate signal. And I have something here, I'm not sure what that is, but I think it's an artifact from uh, the signal below. 
so this is uh, the signal I measure. So uh, hopefully this is a good signal to keep uh, driving directly the TL494 with the MOSFETs. And uh, I think uh, the lack of uh, of power is because of the the small amount of turns, two turns compared to the 40 turns secondaries both sides which I have now. So uh, I'm going to rewind uh, toroid using this one with some better uh, ratio. Okay, but this is uh, one experiment I would like to do, and uh, I will put it on uh, on the forum for anyone to to comment on it. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, considering this uh, peak I see here now in the middle of the scope, I just did some testing by removing the yellow probe, so that could not be any artifact from uh, the scope. So it's really something that is coming through. And it's also a small pulse, 2 microsecond per division. And probably it's uh, the pulse uh, coming from the uh, other uh, output, uh, which is not connected uh, at the moment. But uh, I think it's the same peak coming through like the one here on top of this one, but then from some kind of, of internal feed through from, from the other output. Uh, so that could be the reason that, uh, that we need a kind of a clipping circuit uh, before putting this to the gate. Um, please let me know your, uh, your thoughts about it. Okay, thank you. Okay, and to be complete, I uh, removed uh, the MOSFETs now, so we only have the uh, TL494 running, and I have again both probes hooked up uh, on the output. And we can see here again the 12.6 uh, volts uh, signals coming from. And if I now again check uh, the rise and fall time, we can see almost no peak there. This is again the one microsecond per division. So we have a slight increase in uh, in a peak uh, with the MOSFETs uh, attached. Okay, and finally for tonight, I think uh, I tried to uh, implement what user Verpis uh, suggested to uh, make some measurements on the current to one of the MOSFETs. So I installed this 0 0.1 ohm black induction free or almost induction free resistor. I put it in the return line so I can measure with my probe across uh, the ground and the other side. And then I let it uh, run again. Uh, I had the red probe on the gate of the MOSFET and I have the yellow probe then on the <coughs> what is it the the drain. the source I mix them up all the time and this is the resulting uh, probe I made a snapshot again and we see in the red probe again this uh, uh, gate signal 14 volts peak to peak and The yellow probe is then the voltage across the 0 0.1 ohm resistor and when I apply Ohm's law 
uh, given the fact that we are in channel 2 what am I 1 volt per division each each division should represent uh, 10 amps so I can see here that we what am I that when we turn on uh, the MOSFET I have something like 8 amps and then I have some uh, I think this is the inductance and then it goes up all the way till well must be about uh, 15 amps or something then a little bit coasting and then the same happens when it goes down. I'm not sure about the interpretation of this. Uh, let me give you the figures. So we have peak to peak 2.36 volts and it's one volt per division. And I can expand the signal. like this we are now at uh, 20 microsecond per division so for 20 microseconds we are charging something uh, could be that that's the inductance is I'm not sure okay but anyway uh, if these amperage are what they are 8 and 15 amps then uh, that's uh, that's a lot of lot of current. So I think I have to uh, have more inductance here, so more turns on the primary. So I will go to my original plan and stay with uh, the the seven turns primaries and then uh, something like 175 uh, turns uh, secondaries. Okay, that was it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching.